Anybody supports taking the fence down around the Capitol, and yet it's still up. And so I'm just wondering, who actually makes that decision, and, and when might we expect to see that someday? Well, your, dis your question kind of goes to the question we had earlier about security. Should security be political, or should security be dealt with those who are professionals and, and can make those decisions. Right now, the Sergeant of Arms only works for the Speaker of the House. So when questions rise about January 6th, when was the National Guard requested to come in? What were the actions taken when they found an IED by the RNC and the DNC earlier in the morning? What, who denied or, or, or why was it? And if it was a situation like that, why wouldn't the sergeant of arms have a communication with the speaker and the leader? I mean, this to me means the structure is wrong, that they put politics even into this. Um, no one's ever asked me or, or laid out why the fencing should be there or why it should continue to be there. This is being a call mainly by the speaker herself. I have Democrats coming to me um, telling me they want it down as well. No, I'm not blaming the speaker. No, no, no. How did you take that from that? I, I, simply, I simply laid out a structure of questions that should be answered because what, what's real concerning to me, not just today but tomorrow, that we had, we had a briefing from the new sergeant of arms and others. And, how long has he been in office, right? Uh, he's, he's been in his position more than a month, right? I've never met the man until he sat in that room there. And coming, giving a briefing to our conference, he says everything's bipartisan. But when we asked him questions, would the report come through based upon a general who's tweeting about Republicans looking at what transpired, would that be, would that be non-biased? You know, the question would be, we all walk into a conference to have a meeting we don't walk through any magnetometers, but we have magnetometers just in front of the chambers. Is that the best use? If, if you sat down with a security expert, would they say that's the best use of, the of using the man and woman power of the police force there? Is that giving us the best security when people could all walk into that conference never walking through a magnetometers, but only with inside the chambers? I don't think these decisions are being made just looking at security of this establishment. I think decisions are being made politically probably based upon the structure. Structure dictates behavior. If a person is a sergeant of arms but only reports to the Speaker of the House, I think that's a problem. If a person's gonna be a sergeant of arms and their job is the security of all members, and if the idea and not knowing this to be the case, but just my own personal experience. The threats that are happening are a lot to members, right? So that's the people of, of why some of this Capitol Police is around to protect the security of members. We've had members who've been shot, who the threats and everything else. But it, is that where you're utilizing the appropriate resources or... Um, are you utilizing them in a different manner? I think those are questions that have to be answered. Do you, would you urge your members not to come to the floor armed with guns? I, I don't think that's the place you need to bring your gun, no. Yeah. I, I think we could do our business without it. I think we have the Capitol Police around to protect us. We're okay. <laughs>